once you start going to other places and you see the difference of how clean the other areas are, you, you turn to ask yourself, why am I raised in a place where, that is so dirty? Uh, why is no one really taking care of the plastic? Yet everyone every day goes to town and just goes past this plastic. Especially growing as a person growing up in township. And it's always been something that's been bothering me as well as, a, as an individual. Every time I went to the village to go visit my grandmother, um, there was a lot of experiences around plastic specifically. Um, I think one of the things that actually highlighted plastic to me is when we had one of our family cows um, that passed away because it ate plastic. I always had to take care of what's outside in terms of the plastic and I always had that um, kind of added in, into my values to, to take care of what I throw outside. So I think that from there I started perhaps developing a kind of sense of rubbish and how to take care of it. Industrial designers are basically the people that create products and as a designer you always have to challenge yourself. My um, biggest experience that I faced in university was there's so much difference between um, our racial differences in school. I think that was the first thing that I wanted to kind of like um, challenge and to say, look, whether you're white, whether you're black, whether you're colored, you could always party from the same kind of party. We can go to the same kind of events and celebrate it. And for me, that's where um, kind of Red Cup kind of started because I made it my goal to say, let me cater for everyone because I want to make everyone from different backgrounds to come together. I didn't really know where my products are actually going until I actually did a bit of more study, where is the waste going. And then from there, the environmental side of things came about to say, look, how about now as a brand, let's be much more conscious about what we do. That's where, for me, it started um, becoming one of the things that I wanted to, to take in terms of producing products that are um, environmentally friendly. If someone uses my brand, they should know they're using something that's biodegradable. Anything that Red Cup Village is part of, it has to be innovative. All the cups that people are used to are normally around. And if I wanted to be someone that's different, because with 3D printing, you can't really brand on the product. I needed to come up with the shape that no one is using currently right now. And for me, that's why the kind of design and inspiration came about. I think now with 3D printers, it, it allowed more space for designers to be much more creative and do um, complex designs. And with 3D printing, it makes it just way easy. I'm going to be one of those people globally that are going to bring in innovative ideas and concepts that are going to change and shape the next um, revolution in terms of how products are produced. Trying to use products that um, are not plastic and trying to use products that will go back to the environment and become part of the soil. Be aware where it does it end. There's one cup, there's one lifestyle, and there's one love. 